Felbing tonight, a member of the first family is now caught up in the expanding Russia investigation. Jared Kushner, President Trump's son in law and senior advisor, is now said to be under FBI scrutiny. KKL9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with the significant new development in the Bureau's probe, Dave. It is significant, and also the, the words are significant here. Scrutiny does not necessarily mean he's going to be charged with anything or did anything wrong. Tonight, CBS News is confirming that Jared Kushner, who's one of President Trump's most trusted advisors, in addition to being the husband of Trump's daughter Ivanka, is being looked at by the Russian meddling investigators. More specifically, for several meetings involving some of the usual suspects on the Russian side, during the presidential transition season. Even as President Trump and the First Lady arrived in Italy Thursday night, there was more bad news coming from home. CBS News confirming the Russia meddling investigation is scrutinizing the president's son-in-law and senior White House advisor, Jared Kushner, and some meetings he and his top deputy had with high-ranking Russian diplomats and a Moscow banker in December. CBS News Justice and Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegasus describes the meetings in question. Uh, and of course, one of those meetings was with Sergei Kislyak. He is the Russian ambassador who uh, had a, a, a series of meetings, not only with Kushner, but also at his urging, met with the head of a bank called the VEB Bank. The head of the bank uh, was trained by Russian intelligence. And so uh, for Kushner to accept a meeting at the urging of Kislyak with this person who uh, has ties to the Kremlin, of course, it raises concerns for uh, investigators. Matt Zapatosky was the lead reporter on the Washington Post story. We're not saying that he is going to be charged with a crime. We're not saying he is the target of the investigation. They're certainly looking at uh, Paul Manafort and Mike Flynn, too, but, but sort of put Jared Kushner up in that, in that class of people who they're interested in. The Kushner news comes at a time when the FBI is refusing to share with Congress former Director James Comey's private memos about his meetings with President Trump. In a letter to House Oversight Chairman Jason Chaffetz, the Department of Justice blames the new special counsel, Robert Mueller, as well as, quote, other considerations. Tonight, Chaffetz, who spoke this week with Comey, has set a new deadline of June 8th for the FBI to turn over the memos, saying in a letter he hopes the Bureau will, quote, make the right decision. I'm skeptical and want to see them our ourselves, uh, but Director Comey was, uh, he would not answer that question. He would not confirm uh, where they are, what their presence, if there was a presence of these documents, he, he would not say a word about that. The FBI decision is the latest example of the Russian investigation stalling on Capitol Hill, blamed in part on Mueller's new investigation. We have your back. And Attorney General Jeff Sessions spoke to law enforcement officers in Memphis Thursday, avoiding all questions about revelations he failed to disclose meetings with Russian officials in his security clearance application. Sessions met with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak at least two times last year. A Justice Department spokesperson says Sessions staff consulted with an FBI investigator and were instructed, quote, not to list meetings with foreign dignitaries and their staff connected with his Senate activities. Well, tonight, CBS News is reporting some big changes may be coming soon to the White House. The plan would reportedly include restructuring communications and possibly staff changes. Now, there have been rumors in Washington for quite a while that the White House press secretary, Sean Spicer's job is in trouble. But so far, the administration has denied that. Jeff, Lena, back to you.